Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic in this training session which is SPAU. Okay, in this training session we will see how what this SPAU is and how we can fix them. Okay, this screen shows basically once you run SPAU you will be seeing things like this which tells if it is a green it means automatic adjustment, yellow it means semi-automatic adjustment red it means manual adjustment question mark it means unknown adjustment mode and this symbol which means a reset to original okay so same thing applies for SPAU also now automatic adjustment that is customer modification can be automatically ad adopted clicking on the icon causes the system to automatically adjust the object only with modification assistant category Semi-automatic adjustment. Semi-automatic means that each tool will individually offer you support during the adjustment process. When adjusting programs, the split screen editor is called, whereas in the other tool, any entries made in the collision dialog box lead to the unnecessary adjustment being made automatically. So as with green light, the semi-automatic adjustment icon only appears in with ad modification assistant category. Manual adjustment. Objects in the without modification assistant subtree can only be post processed manually after the adjustment process. Manual adjustment means that you must make modifications without any special support from the system. Use the log as a help using version management. You can retrieve old versions or use your recording to process the newly imported objects. In rare cases, the red traffic light may also appear in in the with modification assistant so unknown modification adjustment the adjustment made for at least one of the object in question could not be determined for modification adjustment reset to original means no modifications are adopted for this object the original is the version that was last imported in the ECC during an upgrade Okay, handling change request during adjustment. Create one new change request for SPDD and one for SPAU. Transport route could be local or transparent change request. Only release task after modification adjustment. Do not release the change request now. Select for transport function in SPDD SPAU. So basically what happens is that after all the modifications is done, you need to release or basically create basically you need to capture all the changes in a transport once the changes are trans captured in the transport you need to release all the objects in that transport do not release the transport because transport will be released during the activity of import basically once the import is done during the import phase the actual transport will be imported the configuration of the transport routes in the SAP system determines whether changes to objects during modification adjustments are recorded in a local or transportable change request. You cannot and must not change this setting during the upgrade. In all cases, the change request can still be used for automatically transferring modifications to a subsequent system. For this procedure, the change requests are not released during the normal way but handled spatially. So just take note that any SPDD or SPAU transport, you are not releasing it manually. It will be taken care automatically during the upgrade process. So the upgrade tool, once you specify the SPDD, SPAU transports, the upgrade tool will automatically take care of releasing them during the right phase of the upgrade. Okay, do not change the configuration of the transport routes in your system during the upgrade so just make sure that you are not changing the transport route during the upgrade process when modification adjustment has been completed release your tasks the tasks are the repairs and corrections that were automatically assigned to you when the change request was created do not release the change request at this point if you want to use it to automatically transfer the modification adjustments to subsequent systems during the adjustment of the ABAP dictionary object, releasing request is locked until the edited object has been activated. 
do not release these requests until after the upgrade. To automatically transfer modifications to a subsequent system, when you have completed modification adjustment, use the select for transport function in SPDD or SPIU. So basically, you can basically once your development system is modif is upgraded, these SPDD SPIU transports are automatically transported into your QA system. Okay, so if your modifications are recorded in several change requests, you must have to place all entries in a single request. Several requests cannot be marked for trans transfer. So just take note that all the changes have to be captured for SPDD in one transport, for SPAU in another transport. All right, then that's what I wanted to cover in this particular training session. Thank you for joining and have a nice day.